it slices, it dices, it uses your favorite Arduino shields and P mods. That's right, it's Artie, the coolest, cheapest, most amazingest new development kit from Xilinx. Artie gets your whites wider and eliminates all of those annoying stains while making perfect embedded designs every time. How much would you pay? Well, don't answer that because you also get this awesome Vovato design suite completely free. And maybe some steak knives. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> no steak knives. And no slicing, dicing, or whitening for that matter. But none of that matters because Artie is really an exciting, inexpensive, easy to use embedded development kit with a Xilinx FPGA. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk, and I think I want an Artie kit for myself. My guests today are Darren Zacker and Jim Burnham from Xilinx, and we're going to introduce you to Artie. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out even more information about Artie. Hi, Jim. Thank you so much for joining me today. Pleasure to be here. And hi, Darren. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks. So we've seen some notable embedded kits available for pretty cheap, but kits with even a modest-sized FPGA are generally more pricey. So let me get this right. You've got an embedded kit with an FPGA for 99 bucks. Yep. Amelia, say hello to Artie. Ah, of course. Hello, Artie. Artie is a $99 RTEC 7 35T FPGA embedded evaluation kit. It comes with the Artie board, of course, with the RTEC 7 35T FPGA. The RTEC 7 device is all about performance, low power, and low cost. We'll get to some more Artie board details in a second. Inside the RTEC 7 FPGA fabric, we can implement an embedded application using the Xilinx Microblaze soft core processor. This lets you target virtually any processor based use case. More about Microblaze later. Artie also comes with a full featured license for the Vivado Design Edition tool. It's node locked and device locked for the A35T. But for 99 bucks, you're getting all the features of the Vivado Design Edition. We'll talk more about these best-in-class tools later as well. Okay, Jim, now I'm curious. Amelia, that's great. We want everyone to be curious. If you were new to Xilinx FPGAs and were curious about the flexibility and capability of these devices, then Artie is for you. If you've already been a Xilinx user but are using the Spartan 6 FPGA and need more horsepower, then the Artex 7 FPGA is what you'll want. So Artie is for you. Also, if you've been using the older Xilinx ICE tools but are looking for a better design environment, you'll want to try the Vivado Design Edition tools. And again, Artie is for you. If you wanted more flexibility from your embedded system, for example, higher DMIPS, configurability, and flexible interfaces, then... Let me guess. Artie is for me. <laughs> yes, Amelia, that's right. Artie is for you. Jim, tell me, why are you saying Artie targets embedded applications? What peripheral set does it have? Amelia, good question. Artie is built around the fabric of the Artec 7 FPGA, but Artie is also specifically designed to target Microblaze. Microblaze is the industry's best FPGA-based soft processor, as measured by raw DMIPS per megahertz performance, customization, and flexibility. On Artec 7 devices, the Microblaze processor can deliver 300 DMIPS of processing performance. To support Microblaze, Artie has 256 megabytes of DDR3 low power memory, where you can load and run your application code. You have access to 16 megabytes of quad spy flash memory, so there's plenty of space for multiple configurations and multiple Linux or other OS images. There's a 10100 Ethernet PHY and a UART to USB port. In addition, it has four monochromatic LEDs, four RGB LEDs, four slide switches, and four push buttons. Artie has lots of user I.O., 81 in fact. There are four Digilent PMOD ports, which give you 32 digital I.O. There's also an Arduino Shield I.O. interface, which allows you to attach any number of Arduino Shields. Using the FPGA fabric and the Arduino Shield and PMOD ports, you can add all kinds of extra peripherals to your embedded project. Sweet, it looks like Artie is packed with the typical and expected interfaces like DDR, Ethernet, and UARTs. But tell me more about the Arduino Shield and the Digilent PMOD ports. Give me some examples on how an embedded designer might use them. Sure. 
Xilinx has put the Digilent PMOT headers on a lot of our boards, but putting an Arduino Shield port on a board is something that's new for Xilinx. Let me tell you about the Arduino Shields first, and then the PMOTs. Artie has an Arduino Shield I.O. interface, so you can add one of hundreds of existing Arduino Shields to your project. This is great for the system designer, because it means they can probably get an Arduino Shield for just about any interface or peripheral they want. Anything from wireless communication to robotics. By using a pre-built plug-and-play Arduino Shield, you'll get to the heart of your system design much faster. Digital and PMODs are small I.O. interface boards that offer an ideal way to extend the capabilities of our FPGA kits. PMODs communicate with system boards using 6 or 12 pin connectors. PMODs include sensors, I.O., data acquisition and conversion, connectors, external memory, displays, and more. If you wanted to add an LED-based or LCD or even a small OLED display, there's a PMOD already built to do that. With a simple I2C or SPI interface, you can connect to Wi-Fi, GPS, gyroscopes, even a sonar module. There are a number of vendors who build and sell digital capable PMODs. Artie has four 2x8 PMOD connectors, making it easy to add hardware, and with the Vivado IP integrator tool, you can seamlessly integrate them into your design. So it looks like you can really extend the peripheral set for Artie. That's right. Artie, and any Xilinx FPGA for that matter, isn't bound to or limited by a fixed processor configuration or a single set of processing peripherals like other solutions. With the Artic 7 FPGA fabric, you can add multiple peripherals. If you needed 8 to 10 UARTs, you could add them. If you needed a meticulous timekeeper with dozens of 32-bit timers, you could add them. You're not limited to a fixed set of peripherals. Artie is highly adaptable. You really can build almost anything. So heck! You could build a spider robot. And who doesn't like spider robots? Jim, I love spider robots. That's a pretty impressive selection of peripheral modules. And with drag and drop IP, that sounds like heaven to an inventor. But if I'm an engineer already using these shields and PMODs with another embedded processor board today, why would I want to try Artie? I'll let Darren answer that question. Amelia, Artie stands out from other embedded processor boards because of its creative flexibility. Rather than using an embedded processor chip, Artie uses the programmable logic in the Artic 7 FPGA to implement the Microblaze 300D MIPS soft processor system, still leaving even more programmable logic fabric to add in dedicated hardware functionality to interface with your peripherals. Everyone knows that dedicated hardware runs faster than software bit banging. Right, so you're able to create some eye-popping applications with Artie. Okay. Exactly. Start with one of the reference designs available and add your customizations. Or build your system from the ground up if you prefer. Use the tools to drag and drop from hundreds of pre-made circuit cores or design your own. You can easily bring together building blocks to implement image processing, sensor fusion, Internet of Things, a whole host of different applications, leveraging the dedicated hardware capacity of the Arctic 7 FPGA. Okay, I get it. The creative flexibility offered by the dedicated hardware capacity on the FPGA is a huge score for Artie. So what kind of dedicated hardware specs are we talking about here? Artie's Arctic 7 FPGA offers about four times the digital signal processing throughput you'd find in popular embedded processor boards, and six times the aggregate differential I.O. bandwidth. That means you can handle fatter data pipes in, through, and out of Artie than you could with an alternative, right? Right. Plus, the FPGA offers lots of that programmable logic fabric to implement your processor system your choice of dedicated hardware, or both. You decide? Yep. Other embedded processor boards don't offer both the ready-to-use processor system and the flexibility to add your own custom hardware. That freedom to choose is unique to Artie. And if you've used an FPGA in the past, you'll be interested to hear that the Arctic 7 family provides 2x performance per watt over our Spartan 6 family and includes devices scaling up to 200,000 logic cells. Impressive. Now, I remember talking to you in another Chalk Talk about how the Arctic 7 FPGAs let you integrate analog mixed signal circuitry onto the FPGA. Is that capability on Artie as well? It sure is. We have 12 of the available 17 Arctic 7 analog pins connected to 12 of the shield pins, 6 to the Arduino analog pins, and 6 to the chip kit pins. These analog pins are connected to the Xilinx Analog to Digital Converter, or XADC block, inside the Arctic 7 device. Some highlights 
or you get a dual 12-bit, one mega sample per second analog to digital converter, or ADC, up to 17 flexible and user configurable analog inputs, on-chip or external reference options, and on-chip sensors for temperature and power supply monitoring. And of course, you get continuous JTAG access to those measurements. So like we discussed before, if you needed to build a product with analog inputs using the XADC block built right into the Arctic 7 can give you bomb cost savings. You don't need external ADC devices. Exactly. The XADC is a unique Xilinx feature to address on-chip monitoring or integrated ADC use cases. Integrating the analog can potentially save you several dollars of discrete analog functions and reduce the PCB area and cost. You get built-in on-chip monitoring for temperature and voltage, so this enhances the reliability and safety and security of FPGA designs. This is mandated in many applications and covered by industry standards. Having an integrated ADC is popular for ISM, automotive, and consumer applications. Not only can you capture analog signals, you can implement a touchscreen application, measure temperature, even control motors. Okay, so clearly a lot of engineers are going to be pretty excited to get their hands on this board and start designing with it. So what does Artie's tool flow look like? Artie comes with Eclipse-based development tools, the Xilinx Vivado Design Suite. It's a thousand plus dollar value included for free with the kit. If you're trying out FPGAs for the first time, you can start with a sample project or a reference design to get your board up and running in minutes. Then use the Vivado IP integrator to connect to all your onboard peripherals and drag and drop from hundreds of cores in the IP catalog to customize the system the way you want it. If you're comfortable designing with FPGAs, you might want to build your own customizations or even design the whole FPGA from the ground up. Again, the choice is yours. Right. Engineers familiar with Spartan 6 and our IC tools will notice the fast runtime and powerful features offered by the Vivado tools. If you choose to go heavy on customization or build your own system from the ground up, Vivado offers the industry's only no-cost mixed language simulator to help you verify all that dedicated hardware. And unlike other bundled simulators, there are no code line limits in the Vivado simulator. Oh, so you don't need to worry about your simulation grinding to a halt if the size of your design crosses that dreaded threshold. Exactly. And if you really want to dig into debug, the Vivado Design Edition software that comes with Artie includes the integrated logic analyzer and debug IP. So if you want to get serious about using all that dedicated hardware capacity, Artie's tools will help you every step of the way. Fantastic, but the beauty of Artie is that you don't need to get serious and do everything by yourself, right? That's right. As with all of our kits, Xilinx and our partners provide lots of useful content on our websites. If you go to xilinx.com slash Artie, you'll find more in-depth details on Artie. You'll be able to download design resources, example projects, and tutorials. There you'll find Microblade soft processor examples showing Linux and free RTOS applications. There's also a bootloader, an Ethernet LWIP web server example design, and a low power management tutorial. Got it. It's really nice that there are so many example designs available. So what other kinds of resources are available to help us get up and running? Well, we've got a lot of tutorial videos on our YouTube channel. For folks who want to bring a project over from our ISE tools, we offer a migration guide to help. You can also find help and example code in the Xilinx forums and GitHub. And lastly, our partner Avnet is holding a series of Speedway Design workshops in various locations around the world through late 2015 to early 2016. These workshops are a great hands-on opportunity to learn how to get the most out of your spanking new arty board. We'll help you succeed. Great. It sounds like there are quite a few learning resources. So? So what? So what are you waiting for? Buy an arty kit today. Download the Vivado tools and sign up for a great training class. Artie is a really cool evaluation platform. For only $99 and with hundreds of Arduino shields and Digilent PMODs available, you can learn something new and build something awesome. Go on, get your creativity on. Well, you've succeeded in piquing my curiosity. Thanks so much for speaking with me today. Thank you. Thank you. For those of you watching, remember to click the link below for more information on the new Xilinx Artie FPGA kit. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton. For more Chalk Talks, check out the EE Journal YouTube channel or the on-demand section of eejournal.com.